hey guys this is deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in today's video i want to tell you about paid advertising especially google adwords so in the previous lesson we learned a little bit about what is google adwords and what is organic search results in google so if you go inside uh, uh, just google and search for something let's say in this case i am searching for learn digital marketing you can see there are some organic search results and you can also see that there are some paid search results the paid search results usually come with a small yellow square which says that it's an ad and these are all paid results so organic results we don't have any control over it google has an algorithm through which they rank the organic results but there is a lot more control over the paid search results that gets displayed here usually the person who is ready to pay more uh, gets uh, the higher ranking in in this case uh, uh, dsim dot in delhi school of internet marketing is ranking number one on uh, the paid search results which means that they are paying the highest cost per click compared to other advertisers so you can see talent edge you can see uh, acad uh, guild uh, you can see digital vidya so all these people are paying per click that's why it's called ppc ads so what i'm going to do today is that uh, make you get comfortable with google adwords and uh, uh, tell you what google adwords is so here i am inside uh, one of my google adwords accounts and here is how the entire uh, google adwords interface looks so this is the most important part of google at least for google because this generates billions of dollars of revenue every year for google and 80% of google's revenue is from the paid search results which is coming from google adwords so most of their uh, companies uh, resources are focused towards making google adwords better so here i will just uh, take you through a tour of google adwords there is a lot of things inside google adwords you need to uh, go through a paid uh, google adwords course uh, you know uh, which crosses several modules to become an expert in google adwords and you need to become google adwords certified by completing the certification if you want to master google adwords but you need to get started somewhere right so i will be just going through a tour of this i have personally been using google adwords for the past 5 years for my own projects and my own clients and for the companies i have worked with i have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in google adwords alone so as soon as you log in into google adwords this is the page that you see if you don't have a google adwords account go ahead and create one i have already shared some tricks on how to get some free google adwords credits for your account if you are in india you can get 2500 rupees free google adwords credits if you are in us you can get 75 dollars free adwords credits so even if you are not advertising anything just go inside create a google adwords account uh, using the free advertising credits just send some traffic to one of your test websites this will make you a far better google adwords expert than most of the people who have not actually tried google adwords so here we are inside the google adwords interface as soon as we log in this is what we see the first thing that you should be doing is that uh, click on ad campaign so if you want to create a new campaign you click on ad campaign and here you have different types of campaign that you can run with google adwords right so you have search network with display select um you have search network only you have display network only you have shopping results you have video and you have universal app campaign so i will just explain you what is search network only if you, if you are advertising in search network only which means that your ads will be displayed on the search network just like we see here it is uh, the ads are being displayed in the displayed in the search network if you go for display network which means that you are going to go ahead and do some display ads on uh, other content websites if you see shopping website this is basically uh, shopping results if you search for something like uh, laptops or microphones let's say we go ahead and search for laptops so here you can see uh, there is shopping results so these ads are called shopping results flipkart amazon snapdeal and all the e-commerce stores uh, do shopping uh, uh, kind of campaigns that's what you see here video campaign is basically promoting videos on youtube uh, and app campaign is basically to promote your app so if you are advertising on the search network only which is the most important thing that you need to learn uh, when you get started with google adwords uh, you have to uh, just select on it inside you can select the campaign name uh, you can select the networks you can select the devices you can select the target country where you want the ads to appear in 
and then uh, you can select the languages this is basically the interface language of uh, people using google and then you have default bid default bid let's say you are ready to pay one dollar per click so let me put it as one dollar and the budget is ten dollars per day so every day you are ready to spend ten dollars on advertising and then you have something called ad extensions so i will show you what ex ad extension is for example if you see this particular ad you can see there are extra links on this ad these are called ad extensions and this is uh, specifically an ad extension called site links so here you have uh, site links so extend my ads with links to sections on my site that's what you see here if you have call extensions you can put a number here so this is a call extension uh, people can look at it and call uh, call you directly or if you are running mobile search ads then there is an option just to run a call campaign where people just click on the call button using their mobile and a call is triggered uh, using their mobile directly so once you click on uh, save and continue uh, the next level is that uh, the account level is the top level and then you have a uh, campaign level uh, once you create a campaign in the campaign level you will be able to set the daily budget and you will be able to set the targeting uh, where you want to show the ads for example if you want to show the ads only in bangalore that is also possible so here uh, you have you can create different ad groups and uh, ad groups are basically different sets of ads like if you have five major products let's say flipkart is advertising and flipkart has five major products let's say books uh, laptops tablets computers and let's say headphones so each ad group will be for a specific product uh, and uh, for each product you will have an ad group inside each ad group you will have several related similar ads right so that's what an ad group is and eventually once you start creating these ads you will learn more about it so let's say i'm just putting it as learn digital marketing is the keyword here so what i am mentioning google is that if someone is searching for learn digital marketing my site should come up and let's say my landing page is learn digital marketing.com So once I put my landing page, you can see that Google is scanning my landing page and Google is giving me more keyword ideas because Google wants me to add more keywords and eventually spend more on adverts. So let's say uh, there are six keywords here about uh, learn digital marketing. So this is from the Google database based on what people have searched for. Google is showing me an estimate of how many people are searching for this particular keyword. So it says 140 people are searching for this particular keyword every month. But this is just for a very specific match here. Uh, there will be lots of alternatives that people are searching for as well. So you can see that uh, this particular ad group has been added uh, again the bidding is there you see a lot of keywords here and then you can continue to ads so here is where you actually write the ads i'm sorry about the background noise can't do anything about it so here you put the final url here you put the ad title you put the ad description and you put the display url let's say the headline is learn digital marketing so here you will be able to see the preview of the ad that is displayed on Google and you can see that this is how the ad appears on Google right you have a blue color link then you have a green colored link and then you have the description which is in black and then once you uh, just click on review campaign the campaign setup will be finished and once it is finished your ads will start running and your campaign will be displayed on the home page in the campaign tab. so you have to go inside campaigns and let's say I cancel this campaign because I don't want to create a campaign right now. And here you can see we have budget, we have targeting and inside we have ad groups and inside ad groups we have keywords, uh, we have negative keywords, search terms. So all this will be covered in a more advanced Google training course. But right now this video just gives you an idea about what happens in the backend when someone is advertising on Google. So if you have any questions, leave a comments below. My future video lessons will be based on your questions. Uh, in the next lesson, I will show you a little bit about Twitter advertising and then we will learn a little bit about Facebook advertising as well. And in the future lessons in specific modules of Google AdWords, Facebook and Twitter, we will be learning a lot more in-depth tutorials on how to optimize your campaigns and how to get the best results out of your uh, paid marketing campaigns. So thanks a lot for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.